In the fast-paced world of entertainment, few stories have gripped the headlines as dramatically as the recent turmoil surrounding Sean Diddy Combs. Well, one assault lawsuit settled in just 24 hours. Two more have since been filed. Now Diddy is stepping aside from one of his many business Once a towering figure in the music industry, Diddy now finds himself at the center of a maelstrom of legal and personal challenges. Combs stepped down from his position as chairman in the film and television company called Revolt, which recently celebrated its 10th anniversary. The landscape of Sean Diddy Combs' professional world underwent a dramatic transformation with his decision to step down as chairman of Revolt, the television network he co-founded in 2013. Since then, the internet has been absolutely exploding. One person tweeted, Kanye West states that in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. It seems like he is implying Meek Mill, Lil Boozy, and P. Diddy unalive people in the industry, and the mentors have dirt on them. Him, on the other hand, his hands are clean except his mom, which he confessed. Another person added, if you just pay attention, all the evidence is out there. Diddy did everything Cassie, Wendy William, Mace, Aubrey O'Day, Jaguar Wright, and everyone else said he did. I ain't letting up the truth. This person also highlighted how Diddy seemed to buy off a lot of people in the industry. Remember how, when 50 went on Drink Champs in 2016 and said what he said about Diddy? After that, Diddy gave Drink Champs a deal via Revolt, and nobody, that I know of, bad-mouthed him on that platform ever since. And this person also brought up how Revolt and Diddy were moving a little size. Revolt TV and Diddy have turned off them Instagram comments. How a media company turning off comments. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs accused assault in a lawsuit filed in federal court here in New York. This move, confirmed by representatives to Variety, came in the wake of three lawsuits alleging SAA, marking a significant turning point in his career. Revolt, a platform that symbolized Diddy's entrepreneurial prowess and cultural influence, was now at the center of a controversy that threatened to overshadow its mission. Revolt's Instagram statement highlighted this shift, emphasizing the network's commitment to its mission amidst these challenging times. The statement read, Sean Combs has stepped down from his position as chairman of Revolt. This decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora. This move was not just about Diddy stepping aside. It was about preserving the integrity and focus of a network dedicated to cultural representation and storytelling. The allegations against Diddy were severe and multifaceted. Cassie, an R&B singer previously signed to Combs' Bad Boy record label, accused him of R and beating her over a decade. The lawsuit was settled quickly, with both parties expressing a desire to resolve the matter amicably. Combs attorney Ben Braffman stated, A decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. This settlement, however, did little to quell the growing concerns about Diddy's conduct. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. Further complicating matters was another lawsuit filed under the New York Adult Survivors Act by Joy Dickerson Neal. She alleged that Combs <laughs> S.A.ed and abused her, leading to substantial and lifetime injuries. This lawsuit, which also named Combs companies as defendants, brought to light allegations from over 30 years ago, painting a disturbing picture of Diddy's past. Combs' spokesperson vehemently denied these allegations, labeling them as fabricated and motivated by financial gain. The statement to Variety read, These are fabricated claims falsely alleging misconduct from over 30 years ago. This is nothing but a money grab. The defense portrayed these lawsuits as opportunistic, exploiting the Adult Survivors Act for personal benefit. Amidst these legal battles, Revolt continued to strive towards its mission. CEO Dottavio Samuels, speaking to Variety, emphasized the network's goal to shift the narrative for black people globally. Shows like Love and Respect with Killer Mike, Revolt Black News, and Sneaking In with Drusky were part of this mission, showcasing the network's commitment to diverse and impactful content. However, the shadow cast by Diddy's legal troubles loomed large over Revolt. The network, which started as a music channel on Comcast following its merger with NBC Universal, was now navigating a complex landscape where its founders' controversies threatened to impact its public perception and mission. The elevation of Dottavio Samuels to CEO in 2021 
marked a new chapter for revolt. But the ongoing legal issues surrounding Diddy presented a significant challenge to the network's future. As revolt grappled with these challenges, the public's attention was fixed on the unfolding legal drama. The allegations against Diddy, ranging from SA to physical abuse, raised serious questions about his personal conduct and its impact on his professional endeavors. The narrative of Diddy's career was now intertwined with these legal battles, casting a long shadow over his legacy and the future of his business ventures. The turmoil surrounding Sean Diddy Combs intensified with the emergence of multiple lawsuits under New York's Adult Survivors Act painting a troubling picture of alleged misconduct spanning decades. The legal challenges facing Diddy were not confined to a single incident, but represented a series of accusations that called into question his conduct and character. The case brought by Cassie, an R&B singer once signed to Diddy's label, accused him of nearly a decade of R and physical abuse. The swift settlement of this case did little to mitigate the impact of the allegations, as it became part of a series of suits under the Adult Survivors Act against prominent figures in the music industry. These cases highlighted a pattern of alleged abuse and misconduct, challenging the public's perception of Diddy and other powerful men in the industry. Another lawsuit filed by a Jane Doe accused Diddy and R&B singer Aaron Hall of essaying her and a friend. This case, along with the allegations of choking and urging her not to report the incident, added another layer of severity to the accusations against Diddy. The plaintiff's decision to remain anonymous underscored the sensitive and personal nature of these allegations. In response to these lawsuits, a spokesperson for Combs issued a strong denial, calling the allegations a money grab and questioning the motives behind them. The statement read, because of Mr. Combs's fame and success, he is an easy target for accusers who will falsify the truth without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. This defense strategy sought to frame the lawsuits as opportunistic and unfounded, leveraging Diddy's celebrity status for financial gain. The legal battles facing Diddy were not just about the specific allegations, but also about the broader implications for his reputation and legacy. The impact of these lawsuits extended beyond the courtroom, affecting Diddy's public image and professional relationships. The allegations cast a shadow over his achievements and raised questions about the culture of the music industry, where power dynamics and accountability were being scrutinized like never before. The narrative takes a deeper dive into the personal allegations against Diddy, particularly focusing on the settlement with Cassie. Recent developments have revealed intricate details of this case, shedding light on the reasons behind the substantial settlement. Cassie's decision to settle for $30 million is a significant element in this saga, reflecting the gravity of the allegations and the potential impact on Diddy's public image and financial standing. This settlement is more than just a legal resolution. It's a critical juncture in the narrative of Diddy's fall from grace. It represents a moment of reckoning, where the consequences of alleged actions are measured not just in legal terms, but also in terms of personal and emotional costs. The settlement with Cassie brings to the forefront the human aspect of these allegations, highlighting the often overlooked personal toll of such high-profile cases. The complexities of Diddy's situation are further compounded by the ongoing trial involving Keith D's accusations. These accusations, linking Diddy to the infamous hit on Tupac, add a layer of historical controversy to an already tumultuous narrative. The trial, still unresolved, casts a long shadow over Diddy's legacy intertwining his present legal battles with past allegations of a very different nature. The narrative surrounding Sean Diddy Combs took a darker turn as allegations and suspicions from his past resurfaced, intertwining with his current legal battles. Among these were the claims by R&B singer Al B. Shure about the mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of model Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-wife and mother of his children. These claims, gaining renewed attention amid Diddy's essay allegations, added another layer of complexity to the already convoluted story of Diddy's personal and professional life. Kim Porter's death in 2018 was officially attributed to lobar pneumonia, a bacterial infection affecting the lungs. However, Al B. Shure, who shared a son with Porter, publicly expressed doubts about this explanation, hinting at possible foul play. His skepticism about the cause of Porter's death, coupled with his cryptic social media posts, fueled speculation and rumors, particularly in the context of Diddy's current legal troubles. The allegations against Diddy by music producer Cassandra Ventura, known professionally as Cassie, were particularly harrowing. Ventura accused Diddy of forcing her to consume alcohol and demanding her participation in S acts with male 
objects while being filmed and physically abusing her frequently. These claims painted a disturbing picture of Diddy's behavior, casting a shadow over his public persona. The allegations extended beyond Ventura. Reports emerged that Diddy had reacted violently to Kid Cootie's interest in Ventura, allegedly going as far as destroying Cootie's car. Such actions, if true, suggested a pattern of possessive and aggressive behavior by Diddy further complicating the narrative of his personal conduct. The internet was abuzz with discussions and theories about Diddy's involvement in not only Ventura's allegations, but also in the mysterious circumstances of Porter's death. The celebrity gossip page, The Neighborhood Talk, brought Al B. Shure's suspicions to the forefront, reigniting the debate about Porter's untimely demise. The autopsy report, which cited lobar pneumonia as the cause of death, did little to quell the growing suspicions among the public. Lobar pneumonia, while a common enough illness, became a point of contention in the narrative of Porter's death. The symptoms, chest pain, shortness of breath, and flu-like signs matched the reports of Porter's condition before her passing. Yet the timing and context of her death, juxtaposed with the allegations against Diddy, led to rampant speculation and conspiracy theories. Al B. Shure's social media posts added fuel to the fire. His cryptic messages, including one where Porter reportedly told him she was running, suggested a deeper story, possibly involving Diddy. These posts, while not direct accusations, were interpreted by many as implicit allegations against Diddy, linking him to Porter's death and even to Al B. Shure's own health issues, including a recent coma. The culmination of these allegations, suspicions, and rumors formed a complex web around Diddy's public image. The once celebrated music mogul was now at the center of a narrative filled with accusations of SSA, physical abuse, and even implications in a mysterious death. The story of Diddy's rise to fame and influence had taken a dramatic turn, leaving the public grappling with the stark contrast between his professional achievements and the troubling allegations that now defined his personal life. As the chapter closes on this saga, the questions and mysteries surrounding Diddy's life and actions remain unanswered. Once celebrated as a visionary in the music and entertainment industry, he now faces a public that is increasingly skeptical and critical of his actions and character. The allegations and trials have not only cast a shadow over his past achievements, but also raised serious doubts about his future endeavors. The entertainment industry, known for its rapid shifts in public sentiment, is watching closely as one of its most prominent figures navigates through these turbulent waters. The story of Diddy's rise and fall is a cautionary tale about the fragility of success and reputation in the public eye. It underscores the importance of accountability and ethical conduct, regardless of one's status or achievements. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.